All right, this week we're gonna be from the Midwest to the Deep South. We're gonna be knocking down some bucks. Sun's coming up. I just been here sitting here enjoying the moment. It's really cold. But I got plenty of clothes on. Got dog on drink. Come on. I'm just telling you some warm stuff. It ain't, uh, it ain't second to none. All right, I got two target bucks here at the house. One of them, he ain't a target no more. He's, uh, he's down at Turner Brothers. The rut zone in South Mississippi. Now that don't mean you're in Kansas now, Missouri, where these big monsters are coming through. But I've got, I've got one more eight point that I'm definitely gonna shoot some mature deer. And I'm sitting there and a smaller buck comes through, no problem, everything's good. And I just look down at my phone for just a second. Look up, there's the eight point that's got the palmated horns. I just know it's him. He ain't 35 yards and he's looking. I just shot a nine point. Oh, sitting here and a little eight come through that I wasn't gonna shoot. And I think this is right there. I don't know if this is one I've seen before, but he's a tall, tight nine point. I took the shot anyway, so I hope it's the right one. But good, great alive, y'all. Man, give God the praise. I'm about to get down. If I can get down this old ladder one more time without getting my neck broke, I'm gonna get down and go sleep and put my hands on him. And I just hope and pray it's the right one. Just see if you can't find the buck. See the buck now? Uh, a massive little buck. Dark horn. Good, great alive, what a, what a morning hunt. Started out as about 16 degrees wind chill. Uh, I guess it's in the low 20s. Bucks didn't start moving until about 9.30. But uh, I just happened to be where this old boy was going. And old Cruella, she was, uh, she was mad this morning, I reckon. I'm all pumped up, yeehaw, here we go two bucks to shoot on my place and I got both of them be moving on to somewhere else and I get down there and it's a wrong deer. It happens. Uh, it ain't got to be 140 inch deer for me to shoot him in the first place. I ain't that guy. But I try to I try to manage as well as I can around here. And that's just the way it happens sometimes when you're deer hunting. Man, I always look forward to my Missouri bow hunt. I, I usually go that last week of October, you know, kind of leading up to the rifle season. But this year, my schedule was changed up on me a little bit. So I, I ended up going and hunting. I started like the 18th, somewhere along through there of October. Okay, I made it up here in the stand. What it is, I got a soybean field out this way. CRP over here, CRP directly behind me. Then a big, about a four acre turnip field on the other side of the CRP. I'm sitting in a little funnel here. So this is a little pocket of woods runs along the muddy creek. This is the first hunt of the year. We're going to sit here and hope for the best. Y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching Real South Honey.
So I done convinced myself that I, I, ha I high leg shot this deer. And I was just, I was just outdone with myself. You know, I'm thinking, man, you get the opportunity and you blow it. Well, fast forward a couple hours, Stubb shows up and we get out there where my, my arrow's sticking in the ground. And I'm telling you, we don't take probably five steps. And again, it looks like a, it's, it's what I call a walking blood trail. Big L had got one down. Yeah, buddy, up here in North Missouri on a mid-October bow hunt. Old Stubbs off in South Dakota shooting pheasants. And uh, I made a hunt this evening and I was able to call in a nice little buck. Looked like a nine or a 10 point. I couldn't really tell. So we're at the arrow now. We got to pick up the blood trail from right here. Lord, I hope we find it. All right. Let's see, Miguel was getting plenty of blood when he got right here, and that's where it ended. Right there, the blood ended. So he made a turn here somewhere. Look, there's a little blood right here. here. Right. Right here. Right. You on it? Yep. All right. Oh yeah, lots of blood, dude. Dude, this deer ain't went far. I feel a whole lot better now than I did one minute ago. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The Luminot worked, and he just made a turn there, Al. Deer just made a little turn. Right here. Look at here, look at here. <coughs> what you got, big Al? There's a butt laying right there, son. Come on, come on, come on. Look at him, look at him. Look at here, look at here. Nine point. Nine point. Oh boy, they got stiff. Look at here, look at him. Big Ale has tallied. What do you think, Big Ale? Man, I am tickled to death. And you know what I like most about this buck? What's that? I called him up. Is that right? That is the only reason I killed this buck is because I had a grunt call with me. Really? That that buck had three other does. Well, there's actually a little spike and two does come out ahead of him at about 200 yards on that pond levee down there. And uh, when they came through, I was like, man, I, I sure hope they got a buck with them. And I'm telling you, it wasn't three minutes later. I looked up and I, I said, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know how it is. I said, there's a buck. And he was about to go the same way those does went, which was the opposite way of me. And while he was looking in my direction, I hit that crunk tube about four times. The boy just kind of picked his head up for, it seemed like 10 minutes, probably about 30 seconds. He dropped that head down and here he come. Well, then I lost him. He went behind that pond levee on me. Lost him for actually a couple minutes. I'm like, that was it. So I, I hit the grunt call a few more times. And I'm just looking around, looking around. And all of a sudden I look up and there he is, 40 yards coming right in on me. He came right on down. Look, thank you, Lord, for sending this buck to me because you sent him down the trail I asked you to send him down. Thank you all for watching Real South Honey. Y'all stay tuned for more bow hunting action because I can promise you, it'll be coming to you. On December 27th, I went into my, my spot there and it is so thick, I mean, you, you just can't even imagine how thick it is in there. And I'll never forget, I was, uh, I was sitting there anticipating that buck walking out and uh, a, little old, a little old spike buck. I caught a glimpse of a little spike buck. And uh, I'm like, you sitting there talking to myself, thinking, well, you know, you stay out here. You, you're my live decoy, buddy. Man, all of a sudden, that little old Spike, he left there. He left there like a scalded dog. And I was like, hmm. I think I just got my buck, y'all. 
These are nice little eight point. I think I got a good hit on him. I don't know if he was in the camera or not. But the Lord has blessed me here this morning. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I think I heard him crash. Man, I am excited. And boy, my heart just started pounding. Because I just knew it was him. And uh, sure enough, I, I glanced over there to my right and I could see, I could see that bush shaking. And then I caught a glimpse of that main beam and I knew that was my eight point that I was waiting for. Good blood. Good blood. It can't be far. More good blood. You ain't even got to look for the blood. Oh yeah, boy. Look at there. Look at there. What a nice buck. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What a nice buck. Probably at about 7.30, quarter to eight. I don't even really know. It was still early. I look over there to the right and I see these horns. I said, oh my goodness, there he is. And uh, man, it's, it's a jungle in there where I'm hunting and it's so hard to video especially when you're filming by yourself. I hope I got him on film, I don't know. It is some kind of thick in there. But I got my buck. Look how those horns come almost back together and touch. Just a beautiful Amy County buck. And uh, I gotta tell you, I am tickled to death with him. My name's Leon Stilly, my friends call me Big L, and y'all watching Real South Hunting. All right, now it's getting late in the season. I haven't killed a deer yet this year. I've been guiding, I've guided them curlies, got Jace a couple deer out of the way. Emmett got a couple deer. Ethan got a couple deer. And all I want is one, just one deer. I need one buck and I'll be satisfied. Finally started getting some pictures of a couple shooters uh, on the other end of our property that really don't get hunted much really not a lot of deer over there but sometimes late in the season you'll get one on camera they're just cruising for one of them final does and sure enough that's what happened These deer coming in here, I'm gonna give it all I got this last week. Seeing a lot of deer, a lot of smaller bucks, they're chasing does, running all around. Especially when it gets late in the afternoons, it's like they just come out of this cut over and running around. And uh, I think I sat here three or four days in a row. One day I hunted nearly all day. I think I come out for like an hour and went right back. Here show up. He was one of the shooters. Couldn't see him on camera. It was too dark to shoot him. Too dark for the camera. 
So I made my mind up the next morning, I'm going back one last time. Get in the stand, hadn't seen anything. A couple hours have went by, it's cold. You know, it's just one of them mornings you feel like at any moment it can happen. One of the guys in the camp had texted me and asking, you know, if I'd seen anything. I was like, no, man, I hadn't seen anything. Sent the message, looked up, and this buck was halfway across the food plot. Mississippi hammer. Oh my goodness. And this is probably the coldest day we've had all year. The cold front moving in. It's about 28 degrees. Wind chills about 19. I'm freezing. I've been sitting in this stand for a couple days. What a beauty of a Mississippi buck right here. Man, that sun is like fine. Tall, big old tall, heavy deer. I'm telling you, it's been a wild season this year and I'm glad to finally have one in my name. I can actually be on the TV show now. Stubbs told me yesterday I'd probably just have to kind of walk behind Brooke since he'd been killing all the deer this year. And, you know, just kind of wave at the camera like you see on TV with the weather people when they out filming a hurricane or something you see uh you see just regular old pedestrians walking by waving at the camera that was gonna be me which Stubbs was about to that point too but he uh he got a good buck yesterday morning and man this guy here just slipped right out and gave me a good shot and man he's fine and just don't get much better than this here in Mississippi Man, every now and then you get some big old deer on camera, but this right here is a fine buck. And I am so happy and tickled. Man, he's run down bad. This son got no telling how far he's traveled coming to the spot. We've only had one picture of him on the coverts, and that was just a couple days ago. So. Definitely a new buck that just traveled in here, so I'm glad he came out this morning. He's a beauty. Real South Hunting. You've got all the praise. The celebration begins, the relief. Man, it's like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. It's been a long season, a really fun season. Hunting with all these kids and uh Finally getting an opportunity to you know, get some time in the stand by myself. They were back at school and uh, you know, it was a good feeling to finally get that buck on the ground and I'm done. Heck of a good time as always. Killed some nice buck. Got a, got a buck in Mississippi. Big A done smoked one. So it's looking good and we got a lot of season left. Catch y'all next week. Stubbs was trophy hunting. He must have thought he was an hour or somewhere. He, uh, you know how it gets. <laughs> I did do that. Turn <laughs> broadside and Optimus. Y'all know Optimus, the old 300 Ultraman. Did its job once again. Dropped him right there in his tracks. I text the guy right back. I said, big buck down. He's like, no way. I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, literally, this all happened probably like 30, 45 seconds, maybe a minute or two. I mean, we'll see you in left. Catch y'all next week.
I'm probably leaning now. I, I, I don't know why I lean. I don't know. Go ahead. Look, right now, screwing me up, so I'm gonna fall over. He's gonna move that camera around. I go to lean, trying to find it. <laughs> yeah, he said Brooke always makes the light look better on him than it does. She said every time. <laughs> <laughs>